Coming up, a Sioux Falls woman was arrested after trying to steal cookies. Details straight ahead. And catching porch pirates in the act. The role you can play in stopping people from stealing your deliveries. Good morning. This is Killaland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. The FBI is offering a reward of up to $10,000 for information that leads to an arrest and conviction in a homicide case. Authorities say 63-year-old Delmas Traversi Jr. and 39-year-old Carmen Charger were killed at a house in Eagle Butte, South Dakota, March of 2019. Investigators, investigators say around the time the two were killed, there was a snowstorm. Authorities are asking anyone with information about the events leading up to their deaths to call the FBI. This comes a day after the FBI and Yankton Police Department announced a $15,000 reward for information in the Tammy Haas cold case. In September 1992, Haas went missing at a homecoming party. The 19-year-old was found dead in a nearby ravine in Nebraska a few days later. Her death was ruled foul play. Last March, Haas's gravesite was damaged. The FBI says that indicates someone may have knowledge about the case. A 19-year-old Sioux Falls woman was arrested after police say she tried stealing something from a local grocery store. Investigators say an employee at Hy-Vee saw the woman walk out of the store with some cookies. That's when the employee confronted the suspect and took the cookies away. And there were some kind of words that were exchanged, and that's when she made the comment that she was going to shoot him and, and reach to her waistband. The employee was able to get the suspect's license plate, and authorities stopped the vehicle. Officers say they found a BB gun in the car. Madison Iron Road is facing several charges, including theft, assault, resisting arrest, and drug possession. Sioux Falls police are asking for the public's help in finding a missing teen. Police say the 13-year-old was last seen in a neighborhood near 57th and Western. She is 5 foot 2 inches tall, 115 pounds, with black hair and brown eyes. Authorities say she is considered an endangered runaway due to her age. If you know of her whereabouts, you're asked to call authorities. A Sioux Falls landlord is hoping his surveillance video will help police catch the person who stole from one of his tenants. It happened a few days ago in broad daylight in the McKinnon Park neighborhood. I saw a FedEx driver dropping off the package, and then at 10.51, I saw somebody else that was not one of our tenants come in wearing a Minnesota Wild jersey, number 97 on the back. And uh, he walked in and grabbed the package that had just been delivered and two or three others uh, from the property and walked off. He's asking if anyone recognizes the man to call police. Deputies with the Minnehaha County Sheriff's Office are investigating a deadly farm accident. They were called to an area west of Baltic late Wednesday afternoon. There was one person that was deceased at the scene. Uh, we don't have any information, uh, any further information regarding this incident, but we will have further information for you tomorrow. Life Flight was called to the area to make sure rescuers took all the necessary measures, but did not transport any patients. Turning to weather now, snow is once again falling in western Kelloland. Let's find out how much could fall with meteorologist Scott Munt. Well, <clears throat> excuse me, good morning you two. Uh, we are looking at a pretty good chance to see that snow across western Kelloland where we do have winter weather advisories posted for today and tonight. And for some of us, this will continue to early tomorrow morning. Now, in the meantime, we have this cool air in place, and uh, that will probably stick with us as we go through this weekend. But you know, by Sunday, we'll say temperatures are expected to slowly warm, maybe closer to average, as we do have a couple of low 60s in our forecast on Sunday. But we will continue to watch that snow in the western South Dakota. Mentioned the winter weather advisories here, three to six inches of snowfall possible. More details on your Kettle Land Live Doppler forecast with Brian coming up. Thank you, Scott. We have an update on an unusual crime we first told you about back in February. It was all caught on camera as Petunia the Pink Pig Grill was stolen from her home outside of Carl's TV and Appliance. Word got back to the Traeger Grill headquarters that Petunia was missing. Well, when uh, Traeger heard about the fact that uh, Miss Piggy was stolen, uh, they volunteered to say, hey, we need to have a Miss Piggy replaced. So they did. Now the Sioux Falls business is holding a naming contest for their new pink pill grill. And you can even win your own grill. All you have to do is go online or to the store to submit a name. Governor Christy Nome is receiving a lot of attention following a tweet she made regarding immigrants. 
She said, quote, South Dakota won't be taking any illegal immigrants that the Biden administration wants to relocate. My message to illegal immigrants, call me when you're an American, end quote. The tweet came after President Biden asked states to help migrant children. Tuniza Islam, the executive director for South Dakota Voices for Peace and an immigration lawyer, says they are currently over 500 unaccompanied migrant children in the state. She believes South Dakota's immigrant community helps to diversify the state. But they add so much richness to our culture here, um, making it more worldly and, you know, just more robust with the different flavors and the different textures of clothing and the different colors that we see, you know, in our communities. You can hear more from Islam on migrant children and no sweep by visiting Kelloland.com. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Brian? All right, weather today. We have a winter weather advisory posted for much of southwestern South Dakota. You can see that area there shaded in blue. It looks like Custer, Hot Springs involved with that. Rapid City as well is just on the northern edge of that. And then as we look at future cast, it does pinpoint some of those areas of snow there still in the southwest. And at this point in time, we're likely to continue that in this forecast. I think the west here likely will see the additional snow at least through tomorrow morning and at this point in time Sioux Falls area will likely just have clouds a little bit of spillover moisture into central Kettle Land, but even those totals not all that significant. The weekend forecast will tend to dry out and warm up a little bit here as you'll see in just a moment. Highs today 45 degrees in Pier. We have 44 at winter and also 31 in Custer with that snow forecast tonight. Lows are dropping back to the upper 20s in the west. We've got 34 in Sioux Falls as we stay cloudy. And then for tomorrow, temperatures back into the upper 40s to near 50 degree levels in Sioux Falls. The seven day outlook, there's that moderation for the weekend, maybe close to 60. That's near normal on Sunday. But then here comes the next front. It'll barrel into Kettle Land Monday morning. Snow with it, wind with it. Just cold, it'll feel chilly into Tuesday as well, and maybe slowly trying to get back on track by the middle of next week. So we got a little ways to go in the pattern. Take the break as we get it this weekend, and that'll be conducive for more outdoor type weather. Looks like Pier also back to close to 60 on Sunday, but keep in mind most folks in South Dakota and most of Kettle Land will get at least a chance of some snow in the air on Monday, and that includes the Black Hills once again. Check out details online at kettleland.com.